Okay, so this is the Krebs cycle. So again, we're going to do the diagram on the right notes on the left. Here, we're going to start with what do we inherit? What is the final stage of link reaction? Try and think it to yourself. Okay, so this is acetyl coenzyme A, which we can just write acetyl CoA. So far, so good. We've got our starting compound. Well, this joins into with another molecule and we form. Okay, so here. How many carbon atoms does acetyl coenzyme have? Well, acetate has two carbon atoms. That's what we need to remember. We inherit acetate. It's got the coenzyme attached to it, which is going to help it do some of its job. We then are going to combine that. We don't need to know the names of these compounds. I'm not going to put the names on because it's more information than you need. So this is a four carbon compound. So 4C compound. And four plus two doesn't take a genius to figure out. But this compound here has got six carbons. So I'm just going to call this a 6C compound. I've deliberately drawn these a little bit crunched up here because most of what's happening is going to be going on down the bottom. So it's going to be a little bit asymmetrical, this here diagram. But we go. how do we go from 6 to 4? Well, we go via a 5-carbon compound. Okay, so we've got a nice amount of space down here. And we've got a nice amount of space down here for our curly arrows. This is what's going to be happening during these things. First of all, we've gone from six carbons to five carbons. Well, that doesn't add up. So something that we must, must happen here, we must lose a CO2. Remember, it doesn't need an arrow going in because the carbon dioxide is coming out. It's leaving the molecule. So this type of reaction we can call a decarboxylation. It's losing hydrogen. Next thing that's happening during this phase is we're going to take some NAD and we're going to reduce it to make some reduced NAD. So there's two things happening during that phase of the reaction. So I remember this by how many arrows I have in which place. Okay, we've gone from five carbons here to four carbons here. Well, what must happen? We must lose a CO2, which is our one carbon. Okay, so we've got four things to fit on here. We've done one of them. I'm going to separate my greens because um, it's easier to look at it this way. So remember, the purpose of all of this is to generate reduced NAD and make a little bit of ATP along the way. But most of our ATP is going to come in oxidative phosphorylation the next stage. So all of these stages, we're going to be charging up NAD and to make reduced NAD. So that's what's happening basically throughout the early stages of aerobic respiration. We do, though, make one molecule, oh dear, I've done that wrong, ADP plus inorganic phosphate to make ATP. This method of making ATP has a name. When we're not using oxidative phosphorylation to make ATP, which is during here, during Krebs cycle is one, and during glycolysis is the other, we can call this method of generating ATP substrate level phosphorylation. Sounds a bit nasty, it's not too much to worry about. And the last one here is the only time you come across this molecule is FAD, another coenzyme, and it becomes reduced to form reduced FAD or FADH. Again, except it's shorthand, you can use this in the exam. Okay, so the products, we've got reduced NAD, we've got some a little bit of ATP and some N uh, FAD, or some reduced FAD, I should say. Okay, so what are our key facts? Our key facts here for the Calvin, uh, not the Calvin cycle, Krebs cycle, very easy to get those two confused. Make sure you're clear in your mind which one is which. So where does it take place? Well, we're still inside the matrix of the mitochondria. Frequently asked. Let's describe what happens. Well, we have acetyl coenzyme A um, from the link reaction joins a four carbon compound to make a six carbon compound. Okay, so four carbon compound plus the acetyl coenzyme A. Ah, something I've not mentioned here is that the coenzyme A is recycled. And that goes back 
into the link reaction. So it's reused. It joins with acetate, that's what be, would be here, and then forms an acetyl coenzyme again. We can say, maybe I'll put that as a, as a note. Coenzyme A is recycled. What do we call this when we lose carbon dioxide from something? We call that a decarboxylation. We can, or maybe I'll just do 6C to 5C and with our CO2 coming out. So decarboxylation. Let's tidy that up. It's not the best. Really, I want that coming off the line. And we can also say that dehydrogenation takes place. which is when hydrogen is removed. So this carbon compound here, five carbon compound, has a hydrogen and it's removed by the NAD to form reduced NAD. And the, probably the most important one here is gonna be, this is generally gonna be a mark on the exam. We can say, I'm just gonna define it as substrate level phosphorylation. Well, this means phosphorylation, adding a phosphate, clearly. Substrate level means that it's the creation of ATP where, without ATP synthase, basically. So phosphate is added directly to ADP um, from another molecule. In fact, I'm going to define this in red. It is a key term. We can also add in other things. So link reaction is when we're starting with carbohydrates, with glucose. It is possible to respire other compounds. So if you're uh, lost in the jungle or lost in the desert and you have enough to drink, but you, you start metabolizing your proteins and your fats and your lipids. So it is possible for other compounds to join in here. And that whatever other compound you start with, you always make acetyl coenzyme A and you always go through Krebs cycle. So it is possible to have another pathway of coming in here. So I might put, I might just put proteins, lipids. It is possible. The vast, vast majority of the questions are not going to examine that, but that is just so you know that this is the feeding in point for all of Krebs cycle. Any other compounds that we start with are going to come via acetyl coenzyme A. This should be a capital K, it's named after a person. Not very clear in my notes that that's a capital K, just a little thing. Okay, and then what are the products? Well, let's just look at the products. So per cycle, again, this is happening twice for every glucose molecule. So if it's per glucose, you're gonna to have to double these numbers. But let's look at these. So we've got one NAD happening here. Oh, look at my numbers. It's a good job I double check these things. Okay, so here we've got one reduced NAD. Here, this is actually two reduced NAD. Good job I did my double checking. So this is per spin, we have three times reduced NAD. One carbon, in fact, these are not useful products, so I'm gonna put the carbon dioxide last. We're gonna have one molecule of ATP produced by substrate level phosphorylation, very commonly that they poke that in there. You're also gonna have one reduced FAD. And then lastly, we've respired, we've added two carbons, we've removed two carbons in the form of two times CO2. And this is obviously per cycle. And that is the Krebs cycle.